this video, we're learning how to solve equations with variables on both sides. And at the top of our screen, we're going to see some tips for how to solve these equations. So it says to solve equations with variables on both sides, first move the variable terms to one side and the constants to the other side. Then solve using inverse operations and reverse PEMDAS. And just to remind you guys, constants are just numbers that aren't attached to a variable. So if we look at example 1, we have 20y plus 64 equals 28y. The constant would be 64. So for example 1, we want to start by getting the 20y and the 28y on the same side of our equation. So I want to move the 20y from the left side to the right side. And the reason is, is because I only have one constant and it's on the left side of our equation. So I want to put the constants on the left and the variables on the right. So to move a 20y from the left to the right, we're going to move it the same way we would move numbers. So because it's a positive 20y, I'm going to subtract 20y from both sides of my equation. On the left side, 20y minus 20y is 0, so I'm left with 64. And on the right, 28y minus 20y is 8y. And now I just need to get rid of this 8 that is being multiplied by my y, so I'm going to divide both sides by 8. On the left side, 64 divided by 8 is 8, and on the right side, 8 divided by 8 is 1, so I'm left with 1y, which is the same as y, so I get that y is equal to 8. So now we're going to take a look at an example where we have variables on both sides and constants on both sides. So example 2 is 2x plus 8 equals 9x minus 6. So we can start by moving the constants to one side first or the variables to one side first. It doesn't matter. I like starting with variables. So I'm going to move the 2x from the left side to the right side. It doesn't matter which side you put the variables on. You can move the 9x from the right to the left. But I want to move the 2x so I don't have to deal with a negative number in front of my variables. So I'm going to start by subtracting 2x from both sides of my equation. On the left side, 2x minus 2x is 0, so I'm left with 8. On the right side, 9x minus 2x is 7x, so I have 7x minus 6. And now I need to get the constants to the other side of my equation. So I need to get rid of this minus 6 on the right side. I'm going to do that by adding 6 to both sides. On the left, 8 plus 6 is 14. And on the right, the minus 6 and the positive 6 cancel out to 0, and we are left with 7x. Finally, to get rid of the 7 that's being multiplied, we need to do the inverse, which is division. We're going to divide both sides of our equation by 7. We get 2 on the left, and we are left with x on the right. So we get an answer of x equals 2. Let's take a look at some harder examples. So example 3 says 4 times the quantity of 5n plus 8 equals 30n minus 16 plus 2n. So there's a lot going on in this problem. So what we want to start by doing is we're going to distribute the 4 on the left side of the equation because we want to get the variable terms together. So we need to distribute the 4 into this 5n. So 4 times 5n is going to be 20n, and distribute the 4 to the plus 8, we get plus 32. And then on the right side, we want to combine like terms. So we want to combine this 30n with this plus 2n, so we're going to have 32n minus 16. And now we want to get the variable terms to one side and the constants to the other side. I'm going to move the 20n from the left to the right, so it's a positive 20n, so I'm going to move it by subtracting 20n from both sides of my equation. 20n minus 20n is 0, so I'm left with 32 on the left. On the right, 32n minus 20n is 12n, so I have 12n minus 16. Now I need to get the constants to one side, so I have to move this minus 16 from the right to the left. I'm going to do that by using the inverse operation, which is addition. So I'm going to add 16 to both sides of my equation. 32 plus 16 is 48. So I have 48 on the left, 12n on the right. And now I need to get rid of this 12, which is being multiplied. So I'm going to do that by dividing both sides of my equation by 12. 48 divided by 12 is 4. So I get that 4 is equal to n as my answer. Now let's look at example 4. 
which is going to involve distributing on both sides of our equation. So because we have to get the variable terms together, we want to distribute this 6 and the negative 5 in first, and then we can move around our variable terms. So 6 times 3 is 18. 6 times negative 2g is negative 12g. On the right side, negative 5 times 4g is negative 20g. And negative 5 times negative 2 becomes a positive 10. So now we have 18 minus 12g equals negative 20g plus 10, and we want to get the variable terms together. I am going to move the negative 20g from the right side to the left side of my equation. Because it is a negative 20g, I'm going to move it by adding 20g to both sides of my equation. On the left side, I have 18, and then negative 12g plus 20g is going to give me a positive 8g. On the right side, negative 20g plus 20g is 0, so I'm just left with 10. And now I need to get rid of this 18 that's being added. It's a positive 18, so to get rid of it, I'm going to subtract 18 from both sides. On the left side, 18 minus 18 is 0, so I'm left with 8g. On the right side, 10 minus 18 is negative 8. And now my final step is to get rid of this 8, which is being multiplied by g. So I can divide both sides by 8 to get rid of it. On the left side, 8 divided by 8 is 1, so I'm left with 1g, which is the same as g. And on the right side, negative 8 divided by 8 is negative 1, so I get that g is equal to negative 1. Let's take a look at two more examples. For these last two examples, I encourage you guys to pause the video and try them on your own. And then when you finish, you can come back and watch my explanation and check your answer. So example 5 is 3 times the quantity of 4x minus 7 equals 10x plus 19. So we need to get the variable terms together. So first we want to distribute this 3 into our parentheses. So 3 times 4x is going to give us 12x. 3 times minus 7 is a minus 21. So I have 12x minus 21 on the left side of my equation, and I'm just going to keep the 10x plus 19 as it is because I can't combine those together. Now I need to get the variable terms to one side and the constants to the other. I'm going to start with the variable terms. I'm going to move the 10x from the right to the left by subtracting 10x from both sides of our equation. On the left side, 12x minus 10x is 2x, so I have 2x minus 21. On the right side, 10x minus 10x is 0, so I'm just left with this positive 19. Now I need to get the constants to the other side of the equation, so I need to move the negative 21 by doing the inverse, which is adding 21 to both sides. On the left side, the negative 21 and the positive 21 cancel out, and they go to 0, so I'm left with 2x. On the right side, 19 plus 21 is going to give me 40. And finally, I need to get rid of this 2 that's being multiplied by the x. I'm going to do the inverse, which is dividing by 2. So I'm going to divide both sides of my equation by 2. On the left side, 2 divided by 2 is 1. So I'm left with 1x, which is the same as x. On the right side, 40 divided by 2 is 20. So I get that x is equal to 20. Let's go through our final example. So our final example looks a little bit different. We have the quantity of 5 minus 2x. So I'm going to put this in parentheses because it's on the top of a fraction. So we have 5 minus 2x all divided by 3 is equal to 2x minus 1. So what we need to do first is get rid of this 3. So I think the easiest way to get rid of this 3 is to multiply both sides of our equation by 3. You could also divide the 5 by 3 separately and the minus 2x by 3 separately but then we have to deal with fractions, and I think that's more challenging. So to get rid of this 3, we need to do the inverse, which is multiplication. So we're going to multiply both sides of our equation by 3. We have to multiply the entire right side of our equation by 3, so I'm going to put it in parentheses so that I remember to distribute. On the left side, the 3's cancel out and go to 1, so we're left with 5 minus 2x. On the right side, we need to distribute this 3 in. So 3 times 2x is 6x. 3 times minus 1 is minus 3. 
So now I have 5 minus 2x equals 6x minus 3. And now we need to get the variables to one side of the equation and the constants to the other. I'm going to start by moving this minus 2x from the left to the right by doing the inverse. So I'm going to add 2x to both sides of my equation. On the left, the minus 2x and the positive 2x go to 0, so I'm left with a 5. On the right, 6x plus 2x is 8x, so I have 8x minus 3. And now I need to get the constants on the other side, so I need to add 3 to both sides of the equation. 5 plus 3 is 8. On the right side, the minus 3 and the plus 3 go to 0, so I'm left with 8x. Finally, to get rid of this 8, I need to divide both sides of my equation by 8. And I'm running out of space, so I'll do it over here. On the left side, 8 divided by 8 is 1. On the right side, 8 divided by 8 is 1. So I'm left with 1x, or x. So I get that x is equal to 1. So hopefully this video helped you guys understand how to solve equations with variables on both sides. Just remember that you want to get the constants on one side of the equation, the variable terms on the other side of the equation, and then you're just going to solve it using inverse operations and reverse PEMDAS.